Tesla's revolutionary technology is autonomous driving. It's a function that puts autonomous control systems on the map and makes us realize what cars can do. But it can be a pretty confusing topic, especially if you're not familiar with autonomous management. It is a common occurrence that people want to purchase luxury Tesla autopilot vehicles, but are unsure how this feature works. Therefore, we will explain how Tesla's autopilot works in today's video. So, stay with us till the end of the video to find out something unknown. So, what exactly is autopilot? Why is everyone so excited about it? And why is it so controversial? Here is our overview of what autopilot is and what it can do. Tesla vehicles are equipped with optional assistance systems, such as autopilot, which must be purchased separately. There are two packages available to purchase Autopilot, Autopilot and Full Self Drive that can be purchased directly through your Tesla account. They include premium comfort and safety features. The Autopilot feature is capable of driving, accelerating and braking autonomously and automatically in your lane. At the moment, it requires driver supervision and isn't fully autonomous. The company says that, as autopilot features evolve over time, your car can be constantly updated to newer versions of autopilot through wireless software updates. The autopilot system is standard on all new Tesla vehicles as of 2016, including eight 360-degree cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, forward-facing radar, vision processing tools, and a built-in computer. As a result, Tesla is able to see all directions simultaneously, thus enabling self-management. Auto steer, navigate on autopilot, and summon are disabled by default. To enable them, you must click the autopilot control menu on the settings tab. As a result, you will need to agree to always keep the steering wheel and to stay under control and under control. If you want to use cruise control with respect to traffic on the S and X models, Pull down once on the cruise control bar located on the left side of the steering column. If you want to use cruise control with respect to traffic on the Model 3 and Model Y, pull down once on the transmission selector body located on the right side of the steering column. When using automatic steering on Model S and Model X, pull the cruise control rod twice or do. If you are using automatic steering on Model 3 and Model Y, pull down twice on the transmission selector body on the right side. The gray PI can will appear on your dashboard when your car finds a parking space. You can use car park by depressing the brake, reversing the transmission, and holding down the brake pedal. A blue button indicates start fleet. Tap this button, release the steering wheel, and the fleet will start controlling the car. As soon as the work is completed automatically, the vehicle will notify you and move back to the park. You must also enable automatic lane changes via the autopilot menu on the settings tab, and the turn signals must be turned on while the car is in automatic steering mode to activate automatic lane changes. Model 3 and Model Y owners can engage autopilot by pulling the rear of the Voyage twice towards them while Model S and Model X owners can engage Autopilot by pushing down the selector lever twice. In a nutshell, Tesla Autopilot is known as an automatic steering assistance system. In other words, it can read other vehicles and the road around it, potentially enabling a limited amount of self-driving ability. While Tesla Autopilot is marketed as a self-driving system, it is not fully self-driving. The system is still very limited and requires the driver's attention for immediate inspection. Each Tesla model comes standard with an autopilot system. Using the system, Tesla can automatically accelerate to a preset speed, brake for other vehicles or pedestrians they see in front of them, and steer minimally so that the vehicle remains in control. One lane is the focus of your comfort. The Tesla Autonomous Steering System is designed to ease long-distance driving on motorways and other similar roads, which is the most difficult steering part. Additionally, these cars come equipped with emergency braking, collision warning, blind spot monitoring, and adaptive cruise control. But this last feature only controls acceleration and braking, so it's up to the driver. 
Drivers of the Model S and Model X in the United States can purchase full autonomous driving for $10,000 or $200 a month as an optional accessory. As a result, you can drive more safely with a more advanced version of the basic autonomous control system. In addition to automatic lane changes that handle an entry, exit, and overtaking, FSD Autopilot includes an automatic navigation feature that can direct you from the direct direction to the exits. Additionally, FSD features an automatic marking system, traffic lights, track recognition, and a call function that directs your vehicle straight to your door from the parking lot. FSD is also acquiring the auto steer assistance function on the street, which, according to Tesla, will be launched at the end of this year but there is not a word about the exact time. Despite not being available in the United States, Advanced Autopilot is another option you might have heard of. The UK offers many of the best FSD features for a fraction of the cost in certain areas, such as the United Kingdom. Advanced Autopilot is basically an average option for certain areas. If you've gotten this far, be sure to smash the subscribe button for more awesome content. It includes automatic lane change, automatic parking, a call, and automatic navigation for driving, but it does not include traffic lights or stop warnings. When the UK Model S's automatic driving feature is launched, it will also not include automatic driving on city roads. Using autopilot, a car can drive in or change lanes, control speed when driving on the highway, and control braking when driving in the city. It is also possible for Tesla vehicles with autopilot to park on their own and in vertical position. The company also added the ability for drivers to enter and exit parking spaces without being in the vehicle, as well as select their cars to pick them up by calling them. A lot of things autopilot from Tesla isn't supposed to do, like driving in residential areas with street lights and stopwatches, as it's primarily intended for motorways. The majority of highway driving is done by autopilot, but drivers should maintain their hands on the wheel at all times. The driver is still in charge of their car and is ultimately in charge of its performance. What's more, when Tesla first launched autopilot in October, it said the driver had intuitive access to the information their car uses to inform them of its actions. A visual and audible alert will appear if you haven't touched the steering wheel for some time. If you do not touch the steering wheel for a while, the autopilot system will alert you. If you still do not take over, the car will start to slow down on its own. Furthermore, Tesla's autopilot system is constantly learning from other cars in its fleet and improving. In addition to the camera, radar, ultrasonic sensors, and GPS, the Tesla fleet receives constant real-time feedback, allowing the system to be continually improved. You may enjoy this video here. Until next time, thank you for watching.